Hi, my name is Chris Ryan. Welcome to the Belfry. This is the Brabazon Golf Course, the 16th hole. And in this video, we're talking about the right arm. And I've got a really good drill that you can do next time you practice to help you better understand how that should work in the downswing to give you hopefully some improved golf shots on the course. In the corner of the screen, you should have the details of my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram. So if you don't already, then please go ahead and follow me on those. So this video is going to be especially useful for those golfers who cut the ball off to the right for right-handed golfers, so struggle with fades, struggle with slices, struggle to really feel they deliver the golf club with efficiency to the golf ball, and so maybe don't hit the ball as far as they would like. Many of the issues that we see which cause these type of shots can be related to what the right arm is doing and this drill is going to focus solely on that right arm and hopefully give you a better idea of what that should be doing. So I do spend quite a lot of time in the coaching bay working on how people use their right arm, more so in the downswing but this can sort of be affected in the backswing as well. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do some one-armed rehearsals. Now, initially, I don't want you to hit the golf ball doing this, but I just want you to use one arm, your trail arm, so in this case, it's my right arm, and just move the golf club from the top of your backswing towards impact and start to get an idea of what we should be doing. So let me go ahead and do this for you. If I take my starting position, I've got a six iron, I'm just going to make a backswing and stop. Now, very often, if I get a golfer to try and rehearse from here to the golf ball, I will often see the right arm move from what we call external rotation, and it works towards internal rotation. So when we get this position, what you'll see from the down the line view is the club head has moved too much out in line with the golf ball. And from the face on, you'll see that there's a little bit of a gap between my right arm and my sort of side if you like. The golfers who really struggle with the slices and the weak shots will often have this movement quite pronounced. And effective what we're saying here is this right arm is working very quickly towards external rota uh, sorry, internal rotation. At the top of your golf swing, provided that we've got a fairly good movement, your right arm will be in a condition where it's rotated externally. We would like you to feel that you move the golf club to the golf ball, maintaining this external rotation. Now, what you would tend to find is if I stall my pivot, so if I don't use my body particularly well through this downswing motion, it's extremely difficult to get the golf club anywhere near the golf ball without moving towards that position that we've just discussed that we don't want, that, that internal rotation where the club head goes too much out and the elbow moves away from the side. So what we actually have to do is from the top, we have to maintain that right arm position and use a much better rotation of the body and a much better pivot in order to transport that golf club into what would be a more desirable delivery position where you can see the club head is a little bit more behind me and from the face on we have lost that sort of gap between the side and the elbow. This is a much much better delivery position to be in. From here we can continue with the rotation and that allows me to deliver the golf club with a much more neutral path, with a handle a lot more forwards and with a much much better body pivot. Now for many of you when you do this you will start to really feel that down in the back of the shoulder, back of the right arm as you're starting to keep that right arm rotated. However this is exactly what we need to be feeling during the goal swing. So we do not always have to rehearse what we'd like to do. There is nothing wrong with you making some re rehearsals and recognizing what the poorer move would be like relative to the more desirable move. Okay, if we make two moves together, what we'd like to do and maybe what we'd like to avoid, sometimes we get a better idea of what we're trying to do. We can distinguish between the two much, much better. So let's make some one-armed rehearsals. We're going to make a backswing and we're going to keep that right arm rotated and we're going to use the pivot and we're going to use that body to transport the club towards the delivery. Right palm feels like it's more down towards the floor. Right elbow feels like it's leading. Right shoulder feels like it's externally rotated. And my elbow is much closer to my side. If I was to apply my left hand now, we would be in a great position to deliver the club through and hit some much, much better golf shots, especially if you're the golfer who hits those slices, those fades, those weak shots. This is not an easy drill. You can, if you wish, hit some golf balls this way. I wouldn't expect to see great results but if you've got the ball teed up at the range nothing wrong with actually just making some you know backswings and actually delivering the club to here and then just going through 
and starting to get a real good feel of actually how we're going to move that golf club to the ball in that slightly different fashion. Hopefully that helps. Right, let me go ahead and hit one. I've got a six iron here. So I'm going to do one rehearsal first. Up, right arm externally rotated, maintain it. Use the pivot to transport the club. And then we can go ahead and recreate it. I certainly wouldn't have that shot back. Nice little draw at the middle. And certainly that felt like I delivered the golf club in from exactly where I wanted to. So hopefully that's going to help you if you really struggle with the delivery of the golf club, if you struggle with fades, slices, strikes, it could well be down to how you use this right arm in the downswing. That little drill is going to hopefully get you well on your way to hitting some much better golf shots. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like the video, click the like button. Any comments you have, you can post those in the boxes down below. And last thing, if you don't already, please subscribe to my channel. Absolutely free. There is a link in the description box down below. Loads more content on my channel already and loads more being uploaded weekly. Clicking that link just means that you won't miss any of that new content. Thank you again for watching. Hopefully we'll see you again next time.